So welcome back to the algebra track using Python. And in this lesson, we go a little bit further with the composition of functions idea. Basic to algebra is the concept of functions and relations. And the composition of functions is the chaining of functions together, pipelining them, you could say. Very common command line metaphor is pipelining. Composing is what the mathematicians say, and in a previous lesson, we wrote this compose function, which will take any other two functions and compose them, and create a third function as output. Here we're kind of going through the paces on that. F raises the number to the second power, G adds 2 to a number, and so in composing F and G to get K, we add 2 to a number, then we square it. It's kind of a um, right to left regime. Um, that's just how com compose was written. So that we G something and then we F it in the case of K. In the case of R, we just K something and then we K it again. You can think of a function as a verb. So here we just queued 100. And you can work it out why it gives you that um, based on the compositions that we've done earlier. So let's show them a different, um, I would propose, if you haven't at this point, if you haven't shown them how you can import and change the name at the same time, uh, I'd like to make a little more expressive uh, names for G and F. I think square for F and uh, G adds two. So we like more descriptive function names. So squaring 10 gives you 100. And, Adding 2 to 10 gives you 12. And the compose function, I didn't rename it. Just kept it as is. And so here I'm going to take these sort of newly named functions. And again, it's going to add 2 first to an argument and then square it. And where I'm going with this in this lesson is, what if the last thing we do, sort of the top off function, is always going to be squaring? It's really the only, it's only the first thing that we do the rightmost argument that's going to make that's going to be our only variable. You know, we want to just partially evaluate compose by filling in the uh, leftmost argument. It's going to be locked in as squaring. Okay, so this is what's called currying in computer science sometimes, and it's basically to partially evaluate a function. And again, this is a great example of how Python. Uh, makes it easy to think of functions here in this case compose as um, an argument as arguments you can take functions and pass them to other functions and in ordinary algebra pre computers we didn't really get to that until with the derivative maybe but here in Python algebra it's it's pretty easy for your students to start passing functions to functions um, early in the game, and that's a real benefit of this particular curriculum.